I have no idea how the sound's going to work on this. Um, I've done a little bit of testing. This is a thing I was going to do anyway. So, context. If you look back into previous playlists, I did Stardew Valley, more specifically, because this is a game you can kind of just keep playing and playing. I played for the first two years and got the highest rating possible from Grandpa as soon as I could. And then that was a nice, clear, clean place to say, okay, and be done. And I haven't really played much since. So, yes, there was a very recent update that added more stuff, but even at the time when I played through this for YouTube, there was a bunch of stuff in the game that I hadn't ever gotten around to. And even before this most recent update, there were two new starting maps that weren't options, so I had never seen them before. Because when I had um, first gotten the game, don't actually care about any of the shit in there. Oh, well, I mean, I'm not going to make use of it. But yeah, when I started, it had these. Um, so I haven't even looked at these ones, let alone this newest one. And how the start would be changed by starting with chickens. Um, skip the intro. Kind of cat. Sure. Um, I'm not going to bother to customize because I'm just doing this to take a look at the new to me starting maps. Because, again, I was going to do this anyway. So, I might as well share what that's like for. Yeah, that's the normal start. I hate how you sort things. Of course, I'm gonna end up putting shit down, so... day of the third year. So yeah, you play through the first two years. Um, more obstructions between the sides there. 
to have a little bit of everything. What is the... Stick with this one. So that side has the quarry part that the mining map does. This one of these have spots that grow the forageables that the um, I don't know the name of the map. The one that ends up with more of the hardwood and the forageables you can get in the um, off in here. Um, I like that map, the one that gives me that. Um, okay, well the way you presented the map here. This is where you expect to do the farming, fishing, mining, and, and what the fuck. Anyway. So, this is where there's a pond, but that's nothing special. You can get that in the basic. of ground where that would happen, so no. You're just basic space. Hmm. You, I saw the mining patch. also said something about this map being good for multiplayer because you have different quadrants of map for each, but I have zero experience playing this game with anyone else. Oh, and they each have at least the little pond for their watering cans, I guess, so they kept that part in mind. long enough that I'm not sure how the size of this mining patch compares to the size of this patch in the actual mining map. But all I needed to do was weed whack to get to it, so um, somewhat more accessible in that regard. I sure had to do a fair amount of mining to clear the path to it on the actual mining map. Not that that should be even a little bit surprising, having to mine on the mining map, but...
actually get up there. I highly doubt these tiny patches of grass are going to get the um, kind of forage I'm talking about. And then these are up on cliffs, so they're not even accessible. So it wouldn't be there either. If it does spawn there, it's not spawning in a way you can actually make use of. So. All in all, this one's kind of underwhelming. Like, maybe unless specifically I were going to play with other people. Because if I want, like, I like having a mining section, but... If I'm going to go for the perks of an alternate map, um, like, I don't know that I would, like, this one has more open space, maybe, than the mining map, so if I wanted to substitute for the mining map specifically, maybe this one? But, because that's the only special feature it actually has, compared to the basic map, because the basic map has a big pond you can fish in. So, unless the pond over there's got different fish in it, there's nothing special here. Um, it's more navigable because you don't have um, bridges and rivers and or that stream that cuts through it on the fishing map. But I think you actually get different fish on the fishing map. So unless that pond happens to have the fish you would get on the fishing map, if I'm even remembering that part correctly. Um, I don't really see the upsides here. Okay, I, there, th there is a caveat to that. I am, I can be rather particular about organization and my brain has a thing about whether or not stuff is symmetrical. So if I wanted to have like all of the structural buildings off on a whole other section of map that I'm not using for anything else, this, might, this map might be good for some of the structural organization of stuff because it's parsed out the way it is. But that, I don't know that that's enough of a selling point for me to prefer it over others. But for the way I know my wiring to be, that is a potential upside, I guess. the upside of not having to hike to it. Oh, wait, let me... Foraging and fishing, tons of open space, supply crates, but splinkers don't work in the sandy soil. But only in the sandy soil do you not have regular soil. That's, that's actually different. That's actually different. It didn't used to say or do that. This is the one I'm usually 
go for because I like having access to that um, forest forage long before I can actually hack my way through the hardwood to get to it. Um, I have also used that one just because having some of the easier mining and not always just the easiest readily available. Um, it's um, nice. That one I have never had any interest in. You didn't used to do that, and the only time I looked at you was before you said that, that you start with a fish smoker. So, however that's arranged is slightly different than what it was when I looked at it. So I might want to look at that. But fishing is my least favorite part of this game. And I am not a fishing fishing mini game person. Um, okay, that that's still dead end. So you're all the sandy soil, so Growing. Outdoors would be a pain in the ass. I expect that beyond giving me ocean fish, you should give ocean fish. This is regular soil, so it's not all beach. But this is a small section. Not that I really farm bigger areas than this, but of course it's full of hardwood.
having um, convenient in that it could have sprinklers farming area being farther away and cluttered with um, hardwood. Um, well, technically that's not hardwood. Hardwood is the red ones. Um, but it's still the stumps and then the big logs require better access, so there is still a I was just using the wrong word. There is still a you have to wait until you have access to better tool to do it. I was just not using the right word because you know, it's been a while. Since I wouldn't have access to sprinklers either for a while, that being not right in front of the houses, which which is where I would prefer to farm, just for the convenience of it being right there, um, and covered in stuff that I wouldn't be able to um, chop out of the way right away isn't as much of an issue, because I wouldn't, depending on how I went about things, when I'd actually have um, access to sprinklers, and when I'd actually be able to chop these, um, may or may not line up. that spot wouldn't be any better than the sand for a while anyway. It was really the point with that. So. Ocean fishing being more accessible. Um, isn't awful. But again, fishing is my lowest priority. Um, whatever washes up in the crates might be interesting. Um, getting the ocean, or the beachfront forage um, could be convenient both in getting more of it and more opportunities for the rarer pieces on top of just easier access to it without having to hike all the way over there. I'd have to play it for a while to see if I thought that the, um, whatever the shipping crates that wash up are, are useful enough to make this map more useful than others. But there's definitely... Damn it! I was not trying to scroll you at all. Um, but there is certainly plenty of beach front to check for stuff washing up on it, be it forage or 
crates, so. Hmm. Maybe it would end up being more interesting and useful. Maybe. Um. And the newest one, new kind of grass, and start with chickens. So instead of the usual um, parsnips. instead. Right, because otherwise I would need a silo, which I would have to mine. Yeah, egg. Instead of pars growing the parsnips. Because otherwise I would have to buy hay from Marnie. Or have a silo. That grass is very blue. Oh. And you gave me one of each. That's random names. And yeah. No silo to backfill. still eating the grass that's closest, not preferentially eating the blue. I watched the meat, so... I wonder if it makes them happier, so disposition would improve faster? I don't know. I don't know what that animals like it is actually supposed to mean. in it. So, yeah. Not as much room to grow, but that's fine. Like, this patch is more than big enough.
there's that. I... Because of that stream that cuts across, I did not see. Yeah, I can't see the edges of that. There's no way over to it so far as I can tell. Unless they give you a way to build a fucking bridge. He's tucked over in that area that I don't have access to. It seems like Grandpa's missing from this map. Because that's... That's the corner they stick him in. Start with fence, and a coop, and two chickens, and it doesn't take that long for chickens to grow up, so you can get those eggs in not too different a span of time from when you would harvest those parsnips. Just because this one is worded differently than it used to be. I want to take a look at what that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is that what that is? there the whole time and I just didn't
familiar, but again, I never really had a reason to pick this map. Um, I might as well take a look at others since mm, that one is the one I went for preferentially. Um, I might as well look at them all just to take a look. Yeah, yeah. made minor changes. I wouldn't notice, but the... Fundamental structure is the same. Um, Those are hardwood. They just don't look right until you harvest them. But yeah. Yeah, it seems the same. Expect you'll have changed. 
I never looked at you because I was never interested in what you had to offer. So. I guess. The, um. Original ones haven't changed. Quite like the basic map. And drama at night means that the normal work you would do um, would after dark wouldn't be safe. But you could train combat at home. less sense to me than the other maps. Like, sure, offer it, it give options for all of the um, stuff. Because, yeah, these different maps all cater to these in different proportions, so having one that caters to the combat, sure, it's just... it, it is... In being fundamentally unsafe, it makes it even farther removed from my particular approach to the game than even the fishing one. And the fishing one is just a... I don't really care about the fishing, and I really suck at the mini game, which doesn't help with me liking it <laughs> any. So... It, 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 they were being consistent in their approach, so I get why they made it. It's just a it, not for me kind of thing. But I took a look at the new maps and double checked some of the old ones to refresh my memory. The mining one. There were stream, there's stream and bridges and you have to clear a rather significant path to the 
mining section. I don't need to double check that. Um, because the other ones did look the way they were before. I just, that fishing map I didn't use, so I wasn't, it wasn't going to register for me whether or not it was different from how it had been. And yeah, it has maps. I the my curiosity about um, how much beach forage and what's in the crates means I will I would probably I'll probably give that one a try for long enough to actually see um, this one is just a they made it easier to get a start on the farming which uh, on the animal husbandry stuff which gets you certain resources a little sooner but it doesn't actually train a skill it just simplifies a little bit of that part of the process It's still Stardew. It, it still has the stuff it had years ago that I hadn't gotten around to on top of having its new starts and additional content. I will probably play some of it at some point, but because it updated recently, I figured, well, I might as well take a look at the maps that I don't know, including their new one. So, voila, I have done the thing. 